Welcome to the Divine Masculine Check-In. It's been half a minute since I've done one. Welcome to everybody who's brand new. For those of you returning, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. We are going to start out with the Flaming Roses Confessions. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. We're going to dig in deep. Don't forget, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So it depends on who's watching as to whose perspective this will play out from. Okay, let's see what's going on. Don't forget to hit the like button and support everybody that needs to hear these messages. It, the video will circulate a lot more with these messages so that others can hear them. I truly appreciate it. And it's a fantastic and free way to support these complimentary readings, which I love doing for all of you. Let's see what's going on. Let's dig our heels in. So stay till the end again, or you won't, you know, hear all the messages and I'm going to dig quite deep here. If it resonates for you, there will be a part two. If you're interested, I'll get more into that in a little bit. Spirit wants you to know that your divine masculine here is reading the old text messages that you've sent back and forth between each other, trying to make some sense of them, or they're seeing them more clearly now is what I'm getting. Okay. They're trying to make sense of perhaps what happened between you and them. They soon plan on returning. They're hoping they can work things out this time with you, okay? They're trying to gather up the courage to get in contact with you at this time, okay? Let's see. What else would the Divine Masculine like to say? So if you've sent text messages back and forth or emails back and forth, whatever the case may be, messenger, it just they're, they're looking back on them, okay? If they've saved those messages, they might be looking at your pictures too. If there was pictures... Um, they're sorry for what they've done to you and they want you to know that karma is kicking their butts now. <laughs> so, you know, they feel like they're paying for it right now. Okay. But they do want to get up the courage to contact you. For some of you here that have split with the divine masculine, they feel it's best part ways right now. Okay. They feel like, you know, there's compatibility issues for some of you here but they love you this person definitely loves you and they definitely mean it okay for some of you they're letting you know that you know this lifetime didn't work out and they're hoping they can do better next time so definitely for some of you you've parted ways um you don't feel like you want to get back with the divine masculine or vice versa and for some of you this this divine masculine wants to work it out okay they're just trying to get up the courage is what i'm getting bottom of the deck yeah, see, right person, wrong time. It was just not the right time for us. So definitely for some of you, it's just poor timing. I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. So for some of you, they just feel like they're not good enough. And so they bury you with lies. For some of you, you know, they're scared to tell you the truth. They only tell you half truths or no truths. For some of you, this person is weak. I'm sorry, I got to say it. For some people, your person is weak. They just can't handle it. They can't, they can't deal with, with certain situations, but they keep hearing songs and, and it reminds them of you and them. You know, this person is lacking the courage and ambition to kind of do anything about your connection here. Okay. It's like they want to make things right or they want to talk to you. They want to work things out. They keep looking back at your old messages but they're worried that either your standards are too high or um, that they're not good enough for you. I feel like it's a confidence issue because it's, it's definitely showing here that they're lacking confidence, motivation here. So for some of you, you know, you may have moved on already, but let's keep going here. Let's get a love guidance and advice message, please. Angels and spirits, what's going on? The divine masculine, what's the advice and guidance message surrounding this connection with the divine masculine? Look inside yourself and examine what's causing you to feel this way. Okay, so I feel like if you're feeling kind of down and out about yourself, you're feeling like you're not enough, it's not you. The divine masculine has some, some issues here of not feeling strong or capable enough of following through with your connection. And it's, it's like they want to make things right, but they tend not to because they feel like maybe they feel like no matter what they do, it isn't good enough for you. Or this is just somebody that lacks motivation. Um, they lack the courage. They just, this is somebody who could be very weak, very weak minded, or just they're lazy. <laughs> I don't know. But it definitely seems like the divine masculine has a lot of fears. Okay. So spirit definitely wants you though, you know, if you've severed ties with the divine masculine or everything's on hold with the divine masculine, which I'm getting for some of you, 
Others of you, the divine masculine has fallen through or fall, followed through and reached out. And each one of you are going to be different. Some of you have fallen out with your divine masculine. They're returning. Some of you have given up on the divine masculine. You have new love coming in. But spirit wants you to know that blessings of love are coming your way. Okay. And know that you deserve. Don't doubt yourself. Okay. That you have that you deserve to have all that your heart truly desires. Don't doubt yourself because the divine masculine has the self doubt and you know doubts their own strength. They they just this is somebody that doubts their own strength or they're just they're not ready. Right person, wrong time. Okay, and you can choose to move forward or you can choose to wait. I never recommend waiting. But look at that. The rose quartz came out, so some of you may need to get some rose quartz. Wear rose quartz. Sometimes they. You know, I've put it under my pillow before now. Rose quartz signifies love and all different kinds of healing properties. Go check it out. But the rose quartz fell out. So is that spirit telling me to let you know that maybe you need to have more self-love, self-care? Um, again, looking inside yourself and don't let yourself feel less than because the divine masculine can't get it together or they're they're just exhausted or they just they have, you know, certain fears. There's all different reasons why they haven't followed through. Okay, but they're definitely thinking about you. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Cancers are someone who's very intuitive, um, almost psychic. Cancers are also very loving, nurturing, strong, sensitive at the same time. They're imaginative. They're very giving to family. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer or you have a strong cancer placement or your divine masculine does. Your divine masculine may be dealing with people around them that are always in their business that shouldn't be. And that's something that is coming up a lot too as well. So, you know, I feel that if the divine masculine is allowing people to sort of interfere with their personal life, that's something that they have to learn to set boundaries with. That's not something you can do for them. And I feel like this has been hidden from you. I feel like you don't know everything okay so you're meant to trust your intuition with the moon energy here there's certain things and i feel like what's also hidden from you here is there's absolutely for most of you a new beginning in love with your divine masculine for some of you here with the stork it can represent that there's a baby that you don't know about on their side now it can be that they're dealing with baby mother um not gender specific, father, again, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine. This can represent that there is a child that you don't know about. Um, maybe something happened, but for most of you, I'm feeling like what's hidden from you is there's interference in the divine masculine's personal life. And I feel like what's hidden from you is there is a new beginning that they are planning on coming towards you. They're just trying to gather up the courage. They are planning it. And they're hoping that things will work out this time. Like I said, for most of you, it's the right person and it was poor timing. But let's start digging in even deeper. I'm also going to get uh, the Tarot of SEX Magic. We're going to get how they feel about you intimately. Uh, we're going to get the Mutual Energies with my Shacy Prism Tarot deck. That's available at Shacy.com. As well as personal readings. Go check out the reviews if you so wish. I love my repeat clients. I'm so thankful for them, and I love reading for all of you, so let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. We're going to get messages from them, and we're all, like, more messages from them. We're just going to keep digging, and we're also going to see what's going on in their energy, what chakras they need to work on or are working on, okay? Because if you're out of balance in certain chakras, then that definitely makes a big difference on how you deal with not only life, but your your partner, um, it, it, business, everything, okay? Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this is resonating for you. So far, part two, we'll be digging into March. So we'll see what happens in February here. And then we'll start digging into March energy. And um, we're going to get messages from them. If you're dealing with a twin flame, some of you are. Um, I will be pulling some twin flame messages as well. Okay, so let's just keep going. And of course, we're going to pull some more tarot charms, etc., Okay, so your divine masculine is trying to manifest balance here in this connection and speak their truth. They want to bring things to light either to you or to everybody else. They want to give you the clarity, I feel. Okay? Yeah. Um, your, your divine masculine could also be for some of you going through legal issues here, waiting for a final judgment to be handed down so they can become clear on their direction. Clarify the Ace of Swords, please, for the divine masculine. Why is it here? Yeah. 
okay? So I feel like they want to take this leap of faith. They do feel like it's a risk coming towards you, okay? But it's, it's like they want to bring everything out into the open to you. So if there was anything that was hidden, you know, here with the moon, um, they want to bring it to light. Like I said, for some of you, there's been interference here with the bat. Um, if there was a child that you don't know about, that's going to be brought to light. Um, there's something here that they need to speak their truth on. And they're trying to, to make things happen here. You know, I want to speak my truth. I want to make a decision and a choice. I'm gaining the clarity. I feel like they're gaining the clarity that they do want to take this leap of faith towards you, even though they may feel like it's a risk that there's others that are interfering. Okay, let's clarify judgment. Oh, they love you. They do. They have love for you. They want to take this leap and offer you their cup. Okay, so there's something that they have to open up about. There's something they need to reveal to you. Okay, and I feel like they're going to take the risk and do it. So if there's a child that happened that you didn't know about, they're going to reveal it. If it's a new beginning they want with you, they love you, they're going to say, I love you. I'm sorry I kept that from you. I just, there was too much interference. There's something coming to light. Something is going to be revealed here. And I feel like you're going to move forward with success and victory here. This is an announcement they want to make maybe to the world, to their family, to you, to all of the above here. There's, this is beautiful. This is, oh, claim it. I'm, I'm telling you what, this is beautiful. You've got the sun, the judgment, the ace of swords, ace of cups, the fool, justice, and somebody making things happen here. Your divine masculine is working on making things happening. So they definitely, I do feel, want to follow through for, I would say, 90% of you here, okay? Um, some of you, again, have chosen to walk away, and that's okay. And sometimes maybe that's what it took for them to realize that each one of you is going to be different. Oh, nice. If it can't get any better, eight of wands. Ooh, they got lots of passion for you, love for you. If you're at a distance, they're traveling to you. This is communication, breakthrough, communication, possible travel. I'm taking this risk. I love you. I want to tell everybody. I want to tell the world. I want to tell you. I feel like they may be telling everybody before they tell you. Jeez. Oh, okay, I feel they want to heal your connection. They see you as so authentic. They see you as their shiny star, as their wish. And they want to tell you you are and have been their wish, that they find you're very authentic. They look at you in a very high light. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, a Libra, an Aries, Pisces, Cancer, um, Aquarius here. Mm -hmm. All right. So I feel like, you know, they want to bring you the clarity because they know that they kind of left you stuck and you've been doing a lot of overthinking. You may have analyzed yourself over and over and over again, wondering, you know, is there something wrong with me or did I say something wrong or did I do something wrong? It's nothing you did. Um, your divine masculine felt it was maybe best to part ways or you did or you both did because it was the wrong time and emotions running high, okay? And we've been trying to hide our emotions here, but yet... You know, you were in both of you, I feel, have been looking back on old messages, photos, perhaps, um, and just kind of trying to figure out what, what's going on here. OK, so they're going to communicate with you here. There's going to be a breakthrough here. Very nice. Yeah, they're going to tell you that, you know, they weren't really sure. They, they felt like they were in the dark about so many things. There's the moon there. And here is the moon, of course, with the charm. So. You know, they have felt the sort of, I'm not really sure what to do. This is a bit of a risk. And so they weren't willing, perhaps, at the time to take a risk because maybe they just felt it wasn't the right time to. But I feel like they're trying to make things happen now. Um, you know, the Ace of uh, Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. It's mental clarity. It's, it's communication. It's a truth shall set you free. It's also the sword used to sever any ties. If there has been any bats, people, interference in your connection. Clarify the Two of Swords, please, for the Divine Masculine. What's going on? Why is the Two of Swords here? They weren't sure. They may have turned a blind eye to this connection. I feel like it's mostly you that's in the dark, okay? You're feeling stuck. You're, you're really doing a ton of thinking here. Um... But it can definitely be both of you because in the page of Pentacles come out. This is somebody that is at the early stages of wanting to bring you a gift. Okay, it's something tangible here. 
It's like they want to say, I love you and prove it with some kind of a gesture, a gift, something tangible. It could be a ring. It could be a necklace. It could be a bracelet. It could be roses. It could be whatever. They want to bring you something. Um, but it's to kind of let you know that they're serious about you. At the end of the day, they are serious about you and their intentions are good. Clarify the page of Pentacles from the Divine Masculine. Okay. I feel like they either want to go through decisions and choices and make them with you here to kind of lock down your relationship and make it into something real in the 3D. I feel like, you know, these decisions and choices, they may be kind of like stuck on making some of these decisions and choices. And so they feel like they need to travel to you, communicate with you, get on the same page with you and say, okay, what, what, where would you like to live? What would you like to do? What are your thoughts? What do you want? Because they're not sure. They're not sure on exactly what you want because you may have closed yourself off or you both did because there hasn't been any communication or a lack of communication or not clear cut communication here or interference. You haven't been able to talk or get on the same page here, okay? So let's clarify the Seven of Cups. What are these decisions and choices of Divine Masculine? Okay, for some of you, not all of you, they were giving to too many people in too many situations and they want to apologize for that. They were giving to everybody else but you, okay? It can be more than one romantic partner. It can be several people. It can be family. It can be friends. It can be work. All of those things. I feel like they want to reach out and say they're sorry, okay? That they just really didn't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so some of you... Interesting. This this is great. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. You you have three aces here. Three aces. You better claim it. Some of you may be seeing one one one. I just saw one 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 yesterday. Um, so they want to definitely offer you something tangible and long term. I feel like they know you have your sword up. Okay. Some of you may be divorcees, or you've been. You know, most of us have been hurt before. You're just guarded. You've got your sword up. They want to apologize here. Maybe they were dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It can be that they are in a marriage or a commitment. They're going through legal issues, possibly a divorce here. It can be. It can be that they were cut out by the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so it can be that they were in a marriage or commitment or dealing with a female figure here. Uh, could be anybody. Let's clarify. Who is this Queen of Pentacles, please, for the Divine Masculine? You can hear the birds chirping in the background. I love hearing them chirp, but they have no volume control. I'm sorry. <laughs> One day I'll have them out here. I just, you know, I don't want droppings everywhere all over my cards. But anyways, yeah, Spirit's saying, you know, patience is needed here. Okay, this, this is being angelically guided with the Divine Masculine. They're being guided as to when to reach out, when not to reach out. They're going according to their intuition is what I'm getting here, okay? I definitely feel like they're thinking about the future. I wanna make plans for the future. I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to figure out all these different choices I need to make. And they feel blinded because they don't really know what's going on with you or what, what you're thinking, what you want, um, because maybe you're a bit cold and distant right now. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay. Oh, for some of you, your divine masculine um, is definitely already in a commitment or getting out of a commitment here. And their wish is you, but they're really worried about what your thoughts are, what you're thinking at this time, how to make plans, how to balance things out with you here, okay? They want balance with you. You are their wish. I feel like they are your wish. I feel like they're dealing with somebody who may have cut them out because they know that you are their wish. Clarify the nine of swords. This is somebody that is going through anxiety, depression, guilt. Okay. They're worried that you've closed the chapter on your connection. They're worried that you said sayonara okay i think for most of you you haven't for some of you you're just hurt 
you need an apology you need to you need to have the clarity spirit is saying here that the divine masculine wants to give you clarity i feel at the end of the day but maybe they're worried that you've already closed the door but you know what my mom always said you don't know if you don't ask <laughs> it's as simple as that so the divine masculine overall here is lacking the courage they are lacking the courage to reach out okay OMG, you have four aces. Are you kidding me? They're, this has a new beginning all over it. They're thinking about you. Um, you know, they're at a page level. So it's the early stages of them wanting to reach out, saying they're sorry, offering you like a gift, trying to kind of sweeten the deal. <laughs> sweeten the deal. <laughs> it's true. Because they know that they should have been like giving you clear communication, but it was the wrong time. And you may have blocked this connection, you know, you may have felt stuck because you didn't know what was going on. And so I just, I feel like they know you're guarded, you've been hurt, and you're kind of like trying to figure out what's going on. They've been kind of indecisive here and, and not really sure. I definitely feel like they want to balance out things with you and they want to communicate so that you can get on the same page. And I feel like they, they are definitely staying up at night or you are here worrying because I feel like you are nothing but loving and nurturing and kind. Okay. And I feel like they're just kind of been kind of a little bit on the immature side because they're all in page form here. There's no Kings here. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm getting, but look at this. We've got another messenger. So, <laughs> They have a lot of passion for you, a lot of love for you, though, and they do want to reach out and say they're sorry, and they do want to give you something to soften the blow here. They do, but like I said, it's in the early stages, but at the end of the day, their intentions are good. They do want something solid with you, but they're trying to balance themselves out, their emotions, their thoughts, because this is somebody that, you know, if they've just closed a chapter in their life, you know, they may have been unsure on how to close that chapter out, especially if there's a lot of people around them that are disagreeing with them coming towards you here. Okay, they're worried that maybe you'll cut them out if they come towards you and communicate. You know, if they if, if you, they travel towards you, you know, are you going to be receptive to what they have to say? This is what they're wondering. Okay, let's start digging into part two. I'm going to pull a couple of the Tarot of SEX now. We'll pull more in part two as well as a Twin Flame Energy. So the link is down below. You can choose to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family, get unlimited part twos. You can check your Zodiac sign, other placements if you like. Um, or you could choose to uh, just view the part two one-time purchase upper right-hand corner. It'll say part two watch now. It doesn't matter to me what you do. It's entirely up to you. You ask for both options. They are there. Let's get the fun part. <laughs> they definitely see you as everything because you've got all four aces on the board here. So they definitely, you know, they feel a lot of love for you, a lot of passion for you. They want a solid start with you. They want to start your relationship off right by, you know, getting things cleared up here. If there was any doubt before, they want to change that, okay? They're, they're every time they can't get you off their mind because every time they hear a song or, you know, they come across something that reminds um, them of you, it, it keeps coming back to them. So, oh yeah, see, oh, they're trying to temper their emotions. They're feeling very, very romantic and loving towards you here. They want to reach out. They want to basically sweep you off your feet and treat you right because they didn't before. They feel like they didn't. They just weren't ready. This is what I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. They definitely want to have a good time with you. And it's not just about a good time. They feel this soul to soul connection with you. They feel it. It's right here. They want to feed you grapes or strawberries or chocolate covered strawberries, whatever it is. I'm telling you, they want to come in and they're trying to temper their emotions here and make these plans. So they want to find out if you're on the same page as them and they're afraid. They're afraid that you're not. They're afraid that you've already blocked them out. Okay, so let's start digging into part two. Let's find out what the messages are there for March. We'll find out how they're feeling and if they're going to ultimately come towards you. It sure looks that way. There's new beginnings all over this with the divine masculine. So... 
you let me know save this video and let me know if they've come towards you and for those of you seeing me on part two i will be right there for those of you seeing me next time i'll see you next time click on the playlist you can go and check out your zodiac sign you can also check out the twin flame soulmate energy update i just did etc much love much light again please don't leave without hitting the like button i'd ha love to have you as a new subscriber if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings okay bye for now